Hello everybody, Mikey Dare Panginator here with Stellaris, part of the Super Campaign. The final part of the Super Campaign, unless Paradox comes out with some galactic level strategy game, which would be quite, quite interesting. Um, it would basically be Stellaris, but on a different scale. Edic Monolithic. Edic Monolithic. The annotated reproduction of the monolithic imagery found on Astromax 2... Prove immensely popular in the Roman Empire, many, citizens, many citizens state that the fantastical annals have completely changed how they feel about aliens. Great! We got some xenophiles. We have claimed a new world. Oh, Alpha Centauri's finished, so that's uh that's neat, I'd say. It's nifty. We got two what we got? Colonists? What do they colonists do? Who knows? Anyways. So we got another planet. We've got the Rubricator underway. We've got the Baul, which, and we have the Xeno Justice Coalition, who is upset. Why? No purges and new contact. Well, fine. Really found. No purges. I mean, we haven't met anyone, so it doesn't matter. We have detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren and lifeless surface of this planet. Gubba Toxic Biosphere gives planet a very unique color scheme. Research. What about the other one? What manner of organism could possibly live there? Okay. So we gotta do all these anomalies. We um, also want to kill the mining drone. Apparently, so I watched a video on the relics. The Baul relic, very good. Um, also, mining relic, it can give you more resources on a new planet. We managed to extract some data fragments from a particularly well-preserved Baul biocomputer fossil. This 10 million year old relic appears to contain pedagogical information intended for immature members of the species, not yet ready to receive the full range of the hive mind's neural connection. Young Baul or saplings were introduced to growth techniques, horticulture, and nutrition in a more curated experience. These findings suggest Baul society prized terrestrial landscaping and ecosystem management and were also highly dependent on it for their survival. So that's pretty neat. Um, we got chapter two rolling on that. And we're just put pun along. So at this point, do we get map we, we have mapped the stars. Okay, let's um System reconnaissance. Little star base completed. outpost right here. Get that energy and all that. Silicon life forms. Ooh, some kind of burrowing silicon based life form inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Geagawa 4. As best as we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks, and there is evidence to suggest that they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. You see, it sounds like that could be tied into litholites, honestly. Um. I feel like Anomaly found. sensors pick up some unexpected activity from an isolated point on Najaga's six's frozen surface. I feel like they could time that silicon life form um, event to all of the to all the events for everything. All right, the rubricator. Out of the coordinates for the rubricator's last known location, we have discovered a habitable planet with what we believe may be some form of settlement covering a large portion of its surface. The settlement consists of tall, pile-like towers visible all the way from space. Our archaeologists are eager to excavate it in search of the rubricator. Um, so we're not going to do that. Survey the system because the rubricator, well, it spawns that dragon. And we don't have the fleet power to combat a dragon. So we're just going to leave it alone. And we're going to move you back here once you're done with all that. And the Relic World size 23. Okay. I encountered some form of alien vessel in the Najaga system. Uh, strange objects have been tagged beta aliens of uh, the Tayanaki or whatever. Okay, that's good. No foreign contacts yet. I don't know if that's good or not good. Well, we'll research the beta aliens. <laughs> beta. <laughs> We will indeed research them. And uh, so yeah, the Baul, the relic that we're ho we'll hopefully get from all of this, will um, be quite, quite good in that we will get uh, it's a passive bonus to pop speed. And every 10 years when we ab activate it, we can turn a planet into a Gaia world. 
or 200 influence. So we, we will need a lot more influence. We won't use it until we kind of max out our expansion, but it'll be useful. All right, let's read this. Salty. Science ship Panzermarine Agathodamon came up with uh, short with regards to its original mission of investigating possible activity on the frozen surface of Najaga 4. There is seemingly nothing of note but ice and rock. However, Science Officer Marcia Baculius, a self-proclaimed gourmet chef and history buff, claims to have made an important discovery, a chemical compound found in the surface ice layers in several regions of Najaga 6 is allegedly supposedly closely related to human stellar salt, an ingredient integral to many traditional human dishes and thought extinct on Terra. It has long been speculated that human stellar salt was never native to our homeworld, but was brought to the surface by some meteorite impacts in the distant past. The science officer's discovery on Najaga 6 leads some credence to this theory, though Marcia Baculius uh, T, uh, leans heavily on properties described in ancient cookbooks predating modern chemistry to provide the saline connection. Whether the salt analyzed, synthesized, actually tastes like human stellar salt of old is ultimately of little consequence. Just the idea of traditional foods now possessing more historically accurate flavor profiles is bound to stimulate both the human economy and palate. Salty modifier added for 240 months giving... Extra Science Division happiness. report success. Okay, that's interesting. All right, energy credits. Let's get research. <laughs> no, no uh, thinking on that one. So there we go with that. And um, everyone's doing their research and getting anomalies and anomalizing anomalies and omni, all of this wonderful stuff. So that's good. You should definitely not. Just finish getting all that relic world relic worlds have some good stuff like uh yeah research very good dense ruins mining districts um generator generators this is what we want crystal mines extraction walls and moat harvesting traps and research so that's pretty good we finished constructing some oh uh City District on Nova Roma. Because we needed more room for everything. Alright, you, sir. I'm going to put you on Auto Explore. Because that's what I said I was going to do. So we're doing it. Because I'm a man of my word. Alright, now we're going to hold on to these alloys because we want to colonize this planet. So, as soon as you're done building that research station, come over here, build the Starbase Outpost. And then we'll save up the alloys to build a um, colony ship. Purple rain. Images taken. Uh, images capturing Giagawa uh, for a mesmerizing purple colored rain taken by the Panzerine Posanius' surface exploration probes somehow find their way into the hands of the cultural elite on Terra. While the discovery is of no scientific value, the evocative imagery of the colorful precipitation sparks a minor renaissance in the human art world, the positive effects of which shall be felt for years to come. Happiness, m another happiness modifier, working lucky. Sensors picking up rhythmic movement on the hellish surface of Ferrathen 1. Okay. Interessante. And let us continue. So yeah, I would reinforce our fleets right now, but again, we are wanting to build a colony ship here. Uh, but first we build a research station on Defada 4. Okay, so where's that? Okay, so this cat is researching stuff. I'm hoping, what if there were a ruined matter decompressor here? That would be, a, just any ruined mega structure would be phenomenal. Um, the galaxy is supposed to have one of each, so who knows, whatever. The diviners name the beings floating through the dark Tianki. Uh, Tianki. We are to keep a respectful distance. Frequency tuning. There we go. So, uh, there they are. Uh, we're still studying the drones, which... Geothermal. The measured pounding observed the measured pounding observed from orbit is the motion of immense and ancient geothermal extractors breathing their last. Uh, built and then abandoned at some point in the distant past, the vast batteries of uh, 
disintegrating machinery have been pumping up superheated fluids from the planet's core ever since. Their storage capacitors are all broken or leaking, but some energy can still be siphoned from them. Okay. I was on Frappin. And what do we have here? An Arct 18 Arctic world. So this whole us having the Ba'ul thing opens up a lot of possibilities. Why is that? Because the freaking Ba'ul allows us to turn anything into a Gaia world. Every 10 years, new Gaia world. Um, before we developed faster than light travel, several sublight exploration probes were dispatched from Terra at near relativistic speed toward nearby systems. The scientists who de developed the probes naively included sensitive information about our culture in their memory cores as a form of greeting to alien civilizations. It has now been realized that this data could potentially be used against us. We need to track down these probes before they are found by someone or something unsympathetic for, to our species. Begin the sublight exploration probes event chain. So uh, we're going to go recover the Voyager spacecraft. We are going to get some food on Alpha Centauri. And what about this? Uh, track all on map. You, sir. So what do we have? How many are there for them? Search a crooks. Okay, so you. What? So what do you do with this? about like survey system like how do we do this what about this moon bump where's the moon bump anomaly found moon bumps over here small rectangular object on the surface of this moon is deflecting all skating beams to a mirror our sensors are unable to determine its material composition okay it's like what the hell do I do here with all of this information go there and just find out. I don't know what the hell they want us to do. Alright, what about this? Survey speed. Yes, please. To boldly go. That is what we want to do. Alright, so we got a dig site over here. Dig site over here. But we have this relic world that is very, very attractive to us. Election of a new reverend. Um, I like this guy. I like me. We're gonna support him till he dies. So there we go. Spend some influence on that. Maybe we'll get more influence. Alien mural. While conducting surface scans of Rathamador 2A, science officer Spuria Castinius, Castrinius and the crew of the Panzerine Pausanias discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the moon and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. New sit rep. Translate alien mural. Go to. And let's translate that alien mural. Recon pass completed. All right, so uh, not a whole lot going on over yonder. But there's a black hole here. And it's the center of a lot of hyperlanes. Hmm. wonder what that could be. Very interesting. So uh, we need uh, more support for him. Oh, we don't have the influence, so we'll just, uh, well, three three days until the election. Sublight probe discovered. The Julius Honorius has discovered, detected one of our missing sublight probes in the system. We should begin recovery efforts New as soon as possible. Route. So what do we do? Research that project. No, just research the project. And election time. Oh no. Damn it, they didn't re-elect us. Caesar's reign has come to an end. Well, that influence wasn't useful. Oh, we need a new scientist for all of this. This is which research? Society research. None of y'all are good at society research. You know who is? This cat. This cat's good at society research. So what are you, your traits? Edict cost, edict duration. Okay. Uh, well. No star base influence boosts. Complete. Unfortunately, but hey, we're doing okay. So you System reconnaissance completed. should be building that outpost. There we go. And we have enough 
alloys to build a colony ship. The problem is our consumer goods is still going down. Unemployment's at zero. I feel like we need to build another civilian industries though. Even if we lose some base stuff. How's our... Mm, not yet. We don't need to do it yet. Complete. Science officer, blah, 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 has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on Rathador, whatever. The text contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes, in broad terms, the collected technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already being is already known to us, but the data does contain several promising leads for technologies we had yet to consider. There is enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we will need an orbital research facility to continue the translation efforts. Okay, that's pretty good. Like alien murals. Very helpful. And is this a pulsar? It's a pulsar. This is going to be a good choke point. Okay. So first things first, build mining stations. Second of all, we're going to colonize this. Um, Flegra Tritonius. I like Tritonius. That's a cool name. We're going to call this Tritonius. Anomaly found. Okay, what's this anomaly? We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this moon. It might have been a glitch in our system, or it could have been a sign of something more. Let's research. So you're researching that prop, recovering the probe? Ion trail. The Panzerine Agathodamon has picked up a signal from a discarded signal buoy belonging to one of our missing sublight probes on the Castra system. There's an ion trail leading away from the buoy on a trajectory towards another star, suggesting that someone has towed the probe there for unknown reasons. New sit rep. Okay. So what's the sit rep here? Got some space whales. Um, follow the ion trail. Track that on the map. So what's this ion trail? Huh? Ion trail from one of our probes leads to this system. Oh, so I guess we have to survey it, and then we'll find something. That seems like a likely Special explanation. Special project complete. We have recovered the sublight probe in the Sienna system. The sensor telemetry it has collected over the years has provided us with a complete survey of all planetary bodies within the system. Wow, that doesn't help us at all. <laughs> That's like, well, been there, done that. Our wire... So let's stop tracking these two. And uh, that is actually the end of the episode. Glancing hit. While approaching Kapler 2A, the Panzer Marine Diodorus suddenly received a glancing hit by several passing mass driver rounds. The projectiles were billions of years old, and based on their trajectory, they appeared to be stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia until today the rounds we have recovered are uh, until today. The rounds we've recovered are of an advanced design despite their incredible age. Okay, so uh, that is it. We found the rubricator-ish or whatever. Kleptomaniac rats. Um, we will start doing that and we are um, sublight exploration probes. So we're trying to recover all the sublight exploration pro probes. Make sure no one can use it against us. Uh, but yeah, we're growing nicely. Still no alien contact, which I'm okay with. I like this little, I like this expansion thing. It's, it's quite nice. Um, but anyways, hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and join us on the Discord server linked below. Thank you all so much for watching, and until the next one, this is Mikey Dare Panginator signing out. See you, nerds! Thank you.